Welcome to another action-packed episode of Action GBX. This month, we blow Super Mario Advance 2 wide open. It's going to be the hottest performer of 2002, and now you can see it in action. For fight fans, there's Mortal Kombat Advance, and for the puzzle massive, should check out Puyo Pop. So without further delay, let's take it away. Worms, one of the greatest multiplayer games of all times. For the uninitiated, the Worms games see you in control of four Wrigley soldiers who must battle it out with other brigades of four soldiers. The Worms take it in turns to move, then choose a weapon and attack a foe with it. Weapons include hand grenades, rockets, Uzis and even airstrikes. Worms World Party is the latest in the series and it's coming to the advance. The advanced game is a near-perfect conversion of the Dreamcast effort, with all the weapons present. These include the infamous Ninja Rope and Bungee Cord. There's a four-player battle mode in there too, so you can battle your buddies as well as computer-controlled creatures. Cubics, Robots for Everyone is coming to the Advance and the Colour in March, but for now here's some sizzling footage of the GBC game in action. Set in the future, Cubics, Robots for Everyone takes place in Bubble Town where robots are part of everyday life. The cartoon follows the adventures of Connor and his robot pal Cubics. They embark on numerous adventures as they attempt to repair damaged robots and ward off their evil nemesis, Dr. K. Players can take part in heated Bubble Town races. For a personalised feel, gamers can upgrade their rides by purchasing Grav Grip to help manoeuvre through curves, the Zero-G engine to give races maximum top speed, and much more. Collect Solex for an added power boost, and cameras to unlock a photo gallery featuring their beloved characters. Email has revolutionised the way we communicate with other people. Now you can email your friends anywhere in the world using your Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Colour. Yes, it's true. Worldport is an amazing all-in-one email solution that lets you send and receive emails using your handheld. It's easy to use too. It simply plugs into your Game Boy Advance or Colour like a regular game cartridge. Create your very own email account, then compose your emails on screen using Worldport's virtual keyboard. When you're ready to send your message, just connect Worldport to any telephone socket using the cable provided. You can email anyone else with any type of email account. But that's not all. Worldport is also a powerful personal organiser. Keep track of important birthdays and appointments using the calendar and diary. And store all your favourite email addresses in Worldport's virtual address book. Just hit a button to start emailing a friend. Worldport costs £24.99 in the shops. But thanks to GBX magazine, you can save an incredible £10 off this price for a limited period only. Just call 08456 010015 and say, Sakura says give me £10 off a Worldport. Or visit www.d3world.com to order on the internet using our 100% secure server. But hurry, this fantastic offer must end on September the 30th, 2001. Two of Midway's most popular series of coin-ops explode onto the Advance this month. The Mortal Kombat saga arrives with Mortal Kombat Advance, while the cruising driving games make their debut with cruising velocity. So, what's the deal, and is there more to come? We spoke to Midway Games' Metro Mustafa and got the inside story. Yeah, Mortal Kombat Advance is basically uh, a mixture of Mortal Kombat 3 and uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Um, the, the Game Boy version has some unique features as well. and We've essentially incorporated the best elements of both those titles. And uh, there are quite a few unique aspects um, in the Advance version of the game. 
there are over 20 characters involved uh, in the game. And yes, there are some secret ones, but i um, not about to tell you exactly where they are at the moment. Uh, you'll have to watch this space. Mortal Kombat does run really fast, and um, we've been able to achieve this by uh, clever programming and making sure that the fluidity uh, of the game is intact and, uh, you know, people that like the authentic Mortal Kombat feel will get their thrill, if you like. The most impressive thing for me um, about the advanced version of Mortal Kombat um, is the fact that the game actually looks and feels like and, and, and indeed plays like the arcade. Fans of the originals will absolutely adore um, the, the advanced title. Oh, Plot-wise, um, the, the game is basically uh, in between the, the Mortal Kombat trilogy and uh, Mortal Kombat 3, so it, the game is basically designed uh, uniquely for the advance, and uh, people that play the, the previous versions of Mortal Kombat will see some unique features um, within the, the narrative as well. A sequel for Mortal Kombat Advance. Wow, <laughs> you guys can't wait, can you? Um, later in the year, watch this space. This is a new game in the Cruising series. It's made specifically for the Game Boy Advance. You won't find it anywhere else. It's exclusive. We essentially wanted to make a, an arcade-based game in a 3D environment on a Game Boy Advance. And by 3D, I mean the, the world being 3D and all the cars being 3D. So there's a, a very solid feel uh, to the game. Plus, we also wanted to make a game which was circuit-based to opposed to uh, uh, location-based. Um, so there are a vast amount of different locations to, to actually go to. Uh, in fact, there are 14 tracks. Um, but you will find that within each of these tracks, it's, um, it's basically a, a lap-based game, not a point A to point B game, um, as the uh, previous um, versions of um, Cruisin' have, uh, have proved. The main difficulties we had were uh, essentially 3D based. We wanted to, to, to build a 3D engine um, into Cruising, um, into the Cruising franchise. Once we got that done, we were very comfortable with progressing with gameplay elements and making sure that people could identify the game as being a, uh, a Cruising franchise. Best features. Um, well, I mean, it's four-player mode link-up. Um, you've got 10 cars, 14 tracks, three play modes. There's lots of last stability there. So, you know, you've got friends, you've got, you know, a link-up. Uh, you know, you, you've got a whole heap of batteries and, uh, you, you know, you're going to have a lot of fun. Want to know what's the coolest piece of kit for Game Boy Advance this summer? Then get your hands on Action Replay GBX, the all-in-one gaming solution that will make you the envy of your friends. Take control of your games collection by arming yourself with infinite lives, ammunition, health, and much more. Action Replay GBX comes preloaded with tons of cheats for all your favorite Game Boy Advance games. Using Action Replay GBX is a piece of cake. The cartridge simply slots into the back of your Game Boy Advance. Plug in any Game Boy Advance game and get ready to show them who's boss. Just bought a brand new game? No problem. You'll find the very latest Action Replay codes in GBX magazine on www.codejunkies.com or by calling the Code Junkies hotline. You can enter new codes quickly and easily. So, what are you waiting for? Put the power in your hands today with Action Replay GBX, the ultimate cheat cartridge for Game Boy Advance. When it comes to snowboarding, no one beats Sean Palmer. He's the five-time winner of the World Border Cross Tournament, and now he's got an advanced game all of his own. 
Sean Palmer's pro snowboarder is more than a Tony Hawk's clone. It successfully mixes downhill racing and gravity-defying tricks to create a unique package. And above all, it's fun. What's more, we've got five copies to give away. To stand a chance of winning, just answer this simple question. Sean Palmer is famous for which winter sport? Is it A, igloo building, B, snowball fighting, or C, snowboarding? When you think you know the answer, call the competition line on 090-64-77-4478 and follow the online instructions or enter via our website on www.gbxtreme.co.uk. You'll be asked your answer and for your name and address. The competition runs from the 6th of February to midnight on the 6th of March. Winners will be picked at random by our computer. Developed by Sega and published by Infograms, Poyo Pop is the Game Boy Advance conversion of the sizzling Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine on the Mega Drive. Guide the pairs of falling beans, rotating them with the buttons. Make groups of four or more beans to blow them away, sending clear beads into your opponent's territory. If you can chain your moves, lots more beads throw your foe into serious confusion. The single-player game strikes a perfect balance between strategy and speed. There's a great four-player offering for party play. In fact, it's one of the greatest puzzlers ever. Those teen queens with attitude are back, though no one this side of the Atlantic seems to have heard of them. Sisters Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen return to the Game Boy Color with Crush Course, a collection of mini games set in their school. The aim of the game is to find the missing pieces of a note from a mysterious admirer. To do this, you must tackle a dice and counters board game with lots of mini games thrown in as you go. It's great to see a game aimed at young girls, but to be honest, it's nothing special. Super Mario World on the SNES is widely regarded as the greatest of Mario games and maybe the greatest platformer ever. Now it's coming to the advance. Super Mario Advance 2 Super Mario World is a very faithful conversion of the 1991 classic. All the power-ups are there. Mushrooms turn our hero into Super Mario, fire flowers let him use fireballs and a feather gives him a cape which lets him glide short distances. He can ride on his pet dinosaur Yoshi too. If Yoshi eats five apples, he lays an egg which hatches a power-up. There are two additions for the GBA game. Here you can play as Luigi, whose jumps and fireballs are a little different to Mario's. And they've also included Super Mario Bros, the multiplayer offering also included in the first Super Mario Advance. All in all, this is a tremendous game and an early contender for the game of the year. E.T. is stuck on Earth and he needs your help to escape. In E.T. Escape from Planet Earth, you team up with your mate Elliot and tackle a series of mind-bending puzzles. Fly from location to location on Elliot's bike and collect components for E.T.'s celestial phone through solving puzzles. By combining E.T.'s special powers and Elliot's agility, you must avoid capture by the authorities and dodge the traps set for E.T. It's not as polished as some GBC games, but it's certainly big. There's over 140 puzzles spread across 60 environments and three modes of play. And above all, it's fun, a worthy addition to anyone's game collection. The Game Boy Advance is rapidly becoming the coolest console for 2D fighting games. Now the Mortal Kombat series is heading for the handheld. Mortal Kombat Advance is a near-perfect port of the coin-op Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, and all the expected fatalities, friendships and other finishing moves are there, as is the blood and gore that made the series what it is. All the characters are present, with one notable exception. Shiva's gone for some reason. This doesn't stop Mortal Kombat Advance from being a great gore fest and a worthy addition to your fighting games collection.
The key to success in Poyo Pop is to chain your moves. If you have three connected beans and a fourth on its way down, turn the beans upside down and land the colour that doesn't match on the grouping. Then make a chain with the second colour, so as it disappears, a second group of four is made. This sends more clear beads onto your opponent's side of the board. This type of tactical play is often the difference between success and failure. Stay tuned for some more great games next month. We've got an exclusive look at Crash Bandicoot's advanced debut, as well as a sizzling Sonic Advance review. We can hardly wait.